Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. On this episode, we pick up from Part 1 and discuss my GameStop Super Sale Deal Part 2. We will take a look at the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One games that I picked up. So far for Part 1, I had a good showing with 3 out of 5 hits with Asphalt 3D, Sonic Colors, and Pokémon Tournament. I did miss on Sonic Riders Zero Gravity and Splatoon. With the last five games I picked up, I picked up on the Microsoft Xbox 360 and Xbox One. I picked up Azura's Wrath, Extinction, Blaze Blue, Chrono Phantasma Extend, Indivisible, and Valkyrie Revolution. For Microsoft's Xbox 360, I picked Azura's Wrath. Heard of this game a while back, but never really gave the game a chance. Realizing that it's a Capcom release, I gave it a shot. Boy, was I in for a treat. I would say 70% is a movie, and 30% is a game. This is one great big movie that has so much design and style, you can't stop watching. There were times that the long cutscenes, even from Metal Gear, would turn me off. But this game is a bliss to watch. A lot of action, Dragon Ball type craziness with a great story and I'm glad I can play this on backward compatibility on my Xbox One. It's a definite hit for me. Extinction for the Xbox One reminds me more of an arcade style of Sony's Shadow of a Colossus. A lot more whimsical, Extinction has the main character protect the kingdom from extinction by beating monsters and even on the large scale ones. You gain power to fight the giants and saving people and defeating the human sized monsters. You will need to remove armor and limbs from the giant in order to finally kill the beast before they grow their limbs back. A very nice theme, but when you start doing the same events over and over and over again, I wanted to see the kingdom go down out of boredom. I missed the opportunity for this great idea and little reason to go back to. A miss for me. Avil, valid rune strike targets will glow when you aim at them. Severing a Raveni's limb will only hinder them momentarily. After a short time, the Raveni will regenerate its severed limbs. Blaz Blue Chrono Phantasma Extend for the Xbox One was a nice surprise. A nice fighting game with loads of different characters, but a really long, expansive story I could not get into. I waited 20 minutes before switching off the story to play the arcade option and this game is so much fun. Smooth combo system to pick up with over 30 plus characters to choose from will leave me playing this fighting gem for a long while. A definite hit for me, just avoid the story and have fun with the arcade style fighting. Yeah. <laughs> It's my turn. Praise. Indivisible for the Xbox One may look like a Me Too 2D animated side scroller, but it's an action based, turn based RPG with a lot of death. Each face button on the controller corresponds to a character to attack and block depending if they're in attack mode or in defense. The game brings in the whole package with great characters, voice acting and animation with unique personalities you won't get bored with. A lot of strategy as well as I have already died so many times just trying to attack. 
well worth the price of admission and more. Probably will spend the most of my time with this RPG from the games that I purchased so far. A definite hit and a must play in this surprising gem. Valkyrie Revolution on the Xbox One was a game I picked up as a pure Sega fan, but this game pretty much let me down. This is an action game similar to the Valkyrie Chronicle series, which are fantastic games, but this game feels like a low budget game with its graphics looking like last gen in HD. The story is long and boring, but worse with English voice acting. The Japanese voices do help, but you'll be waiting for the next mission for 15 to 20 minutes for the story cutscenes to end. A game that solely uses the brand name to sell an action game that has rarely any action at all. A miss for me on this one and making me shake my head at Sega. <laughs> That's it for me on this episode on Beho Reviews. It looks like I got 6 good games out of 10. Wish it was much higher, but I did buy all the games for 4 bucks each for all 10, so I consider myself lucky not paying more than $4 for the 4 games I missed. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here. Damn.